Hey everybody, this is Nicholas with Everything Board Games, and I am here today to open a booster box of the new Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions CCG from PlayFusion. Some of you might know PlayFusion from the Lightseekers CCG. Uh, Warhammer is a new uh, IP for PlayFusion, and they've taken a lot of the Lightseekers mechanics, uh, resourceless, there's no mana or anything like that, uh, deck building, some of the ideas, and most specifically, the idea that uh, of rotation, the cards that rotate throughout the game, and uh, they've made it into a four-lane, one-faction CCG. So I'm gonna be opening up some of these packs. We're also gonna have a contest at the end. Uh, you're gonna be eligible to win one of these four campaign decks, along with a pack of sleeves and some additional packs, as well as some extras on behalf of PlayFusion and Everything Board Games. Uh, booster pack uh, runs about $4, has 13 cards inside of it. A booster box is about nine. $96 they were selling them for at Gen Con. The campaign decks run 14. So we're gonna open up some of these packs and see what we got. All right, we're gonna crack our first pack here. Uh, the first thing you're actually gonna notice once we get inside these packs is something that I actually really like about this particular game is the backs of the cards. They're not exactly textured, but they do have like a, a definite effect on the text as far as um, there's a little bit of glossiness to the text and it kind of offsets with the matte background, which I really like. So let's just uh, hop right in. We got a grave call right here. Uh, right away, I won't do this for every card, I promise, but right away one of the things I want you to notice about this particular card is uh, the game plays across four lanes, but you'll notice that Grave Call has a, a signifier in the center and then two lanes on either side of it. Grave Call works really well if you want to play it in lanes one or four. Most of the cards that actually just affect itself and some other lanes, if you were to play this in this particular lane, it would only work in lane four and lane three. If you play Grave Call in lane one, it's gonna work in lanes two and three, which is really nice. So you can have some additional functionality across the lanes with that particular card. Call of the Grave, Arcane Bolt. Uh, this is a pretty standard card that comes across in a lot of the campaign decks. This one uh, has no text on the first two rotations, and the last rotation is gonna deal seven damage to your opponent. As you start with 30 life in each game, that seven damage becomes super relevant, super fast. So some pretty decent commons just to start off this particular pack. Chaotic Restoration is uh, an interesting card as it's gonna deal three damage to yourself right away, then not do anything, but you're gonna get that, da that damage back in health in uh, across 10 for corners three and four. Looking into the uncommons here, we've got Trans Mogrifying Flamer, which is quite the card title. Uh, Dark Mist, uh, just a, a nice protection spell that works across four turns. So you're gonna have any units that uh, in on either side of that particular card will not be able to be removed. So that's particularly nice. Light of Sigmar, and the rare in this particular card, in this particular pack, is gonna be uh, Infernal Gateway, which is gonna remove a highlighted enemy unit, and then you can deploy the corner number of daemon units from your deck onto a highlighted allied champions. Uh, the normal restrictions do apply, so if a, if a wizard is in the lane, you can't deploy a unit there, and then you can shuffle the deck after searching it. So super nice rare there that's got some removal. In this particular game, removal is gonna be very highly valued. Most CCGs value removal pretty well. I think in this particular game, removal is king. You're gonna have a lot of cards that kind of just sit in that action space and really just kind of spin around. Dark Mist is a good example. For four turns, that card's gonna sit there. So if you're able to remove units or spells, obviously prioritize those super high in your deck, make sure those are there. Now we're gonna go to uh, the last four cards in this particular deck excuse me, in this particular pack. We've got Light of Sigmar again, which is a, an uncommon we talked about already. Uh, Gaunt Summoner, this is a champion. He's got a heroic act, will deal two damage to yourself, but then you can move one daemon unit from your discard pile back into your hand. A nice champion to have for that faction. An uncommon here, Reaping Cairn Wraith, reduce damage received by the highlighted champion's abilities by two. A pretty good card to have in a deck where you're gonna want some damage mitigation 
mitigation in that lane. And what I really like about uh, Warhammer Age of Sigmar is every single booster pack contains a foil card. So you're gonna notice some really nice foiling on this piercing shot. It is just a common. Uh, in every pack, you're gonna have the option of getting either a common, an uncommon, or even an extra rare in that foil slot. So this one, just a common, but does three ren damage to your opponent instantly and then comes right off. So super nice if you want to pile with uh, a champion that needs to do some damage, that'll do really nicely. So pack one, feeling pretty good about that particular pack. Let's go ahead and open up another one here and then I'll show you something super cool about uh, this particular game and its digital app. And once again, another Grave Call right off the top. We've got Unholy Vitality, which is just gonna do some uh, increasing health gain across the motion. Uh, Auric Scrappers, which is gonna deal damage across the way. We've got a Long Strike Raptor here. Putrid Puke, which uh, the art on this particular card is particularly disgusting given the name, so. Well done, Play Fusion. Uh, we've got some Battle Glory, a WOG ceremony. This particular faction here does a lot of uh, functionality on the WOG, which is not actually a keyword. It's just some pretty cool flavor that they do. So you're going to see a lot of that WOG across a lot of their cards. Moving to the Uncommons, Hungry Fell Bats, which is going to deal damage to your opponent and uh, help you out on some of their mitigation. So when they do a removal spell, when they remove one or more, um, when any, excuse me, when any of your highlighted allies removes them, you're gonna deal two additional damage to your opponent. So it's actually the other way around. It uh, makes your removal that much better. We're gonna go with Frightful Touch, dealing some more damage to your opponent and uh, removing some cards from your hand. I played in the uh, learning to play the game uh, tournament at Gen Con this year, and this card did a lot of work for me, getting rid of cards in your opponent's hand. As the action to draw ends your turn, whether you wanna spend one or both of your actions to draw cards in your turn, it will be the last thing you do on your turn. So getting rid of those cards, especially after your opponent went down to one, maybe two cards, and then spent their turn drawing up to three or four, really nice to get those cards back into your opponent's deck and out of their hand, slowing down their tempo. The rare in this pack is Fearless Korgoroths. A lot of vowels and consonants, which make up words, but you wouldn't think they'd be quite so difficult to pronounce. Uh, quick card, only around for two turns, dealing damage to your opponent, but does re uh, remove the ability for that champion to deploy units, which is super good. Uh, we're gonna go to the last three in this particular pack, a common Skulking Necromancer, an uncommon champion wizard, the Isharan Soul Scryer, which is going to allow you to rotate uh, through your elf units even faster. One thing to keep in mind in this particular game, when you're rotating through, uh, if your card effect allows you to rotate a faction card even faster, on those rotations, they're actually gonna do the damage that they would normally do. They'll have the effect even if they're rotating one step or two steps too far. So they're gonna stop at each corner and do the damage. So a lot of way to really ramp into some more damage. Uh, and then the foil in this one again is a common disruptive liberator. I just really like the foil uh, in every pack, which is super nice. So I wanna talk very quickly a little bit about the app for this particular game. You. Uh, download the companion app, which will currently not allow you to play the game inside the app with uh, online opponents, but sometime in the future will allow that functionality. Right now, it allows you to take your physical collection and scan it into your digital collection, which is super cool. So if you have a bunch of cards, you open a pack, and you're like, I just wanna get these into my digital collection very quickly, very easily, here's what's really cool. If you have, a device that has a camera on it and the app installed, what you can actually do is go inside the app and tap on the scan cards button. This will uh, give the app access to your camera and then what you can do is if you hold it with any number of cards inside that particular camera, it's actually gonna scan those and bring them in. So. As you can see, it's bringing in these cards and just adding them right to my digital collection. Now, what's super cool about this particular game is once I've scanned all these cards in, they, are, they belong to my digital collection, but 
As this Battle Glory scans into my collection, I've only got one copy of Battle Glory in my collection. It doesn't give me access to an unlimited number of Battle Glories. It will just give me this one. And how it does it is there are these uh, black cutouts along the border of the card. Each one of those is unique to the card that it's found on. So every one of these eight cards, if you were to take your phone to your screen right now and try and scan them, two cool things are gonna happen. One, it's not gonna let them add it to your particular collection. It will tell you that I own them. But what's super cool about that is you can actually friend me through the app just by scanning your card. So if you're at a tournament and you're playing with some other people, you meet a random opponent that you really enjoyed playing against, all you need to do is take out your app, scan one of their cards in their deck that they've already claimed in their digital app, and you guys are digitally connected to each other through the app, which is a super great way to make friends and do some more cool stuff in that app. I think it's a really great way to add that sort of social connection inside the game. So that's a, and it's very fast. Uh, eight is sort of the best way that I've found to do a mass amount of cards all at once. Since the app does give, uh, the app does get access to your phone, it tends to chew up battery pretty fast. So you'll wanna make sure that you're set up and ready to go or have a pretty good charge on your device in order to do that. All right, so pack number three here, we've got a Grimgast Reapers to start out with, Charging Blood Crusher, Pink Horror Conjurer, a really good opportunity to take a look at the art in this game. Um, the four factions really have their own unique feel. Uh, the, Order, the Order faction has a really nice kind of lightning electric feel to it. Uh, this particular faction really kind of gross, just disgusting creatures and monsters. Feast of Mork, which allows you to do some health gain. Uh, that's, that is gonna be a, that is a, what is that when it rotates around? That is gonna be a nine health gain on that particular card, which is super high. Deadly Chop, again, some nice removal. Triumphant Smash, Rejoice and Slaughter. Moving to the uncommons there. Reckless Inspiration, Show Off Grotz. Terrify is the rare here, doing a lot of really good work for that order faction. This can only be deployed, excuse me, this is not a this is not an order faction. This is a death faction card. This will only be deployed by a vampire champion, and highlighted units and spells are gonna be dormant. Dormant means that the card cannot rotate and its text is blank. So not only is that card not gonna rotate for two full turns, but it's not gonna do anything while it's on the board. A really nice rare card if you can slot it into the death faction there. Uh, moving on to the last three, we've got Crypt Haunter Courtier, Bellowing Blade, and a really nice pull in this particular pack. This is a rare foil champion warrior wizard for the death faction, Neferata Mortark of Blood. Uh, when this champion or a spell or unit controlled by this champion removes a highlighted unit in any of the opponent's four slots, you're gonna deploy a vampire unit from your hand or discard pile onto this champion, replacing any card currently in play. So if you've got a unit or a spell currently in that lane that is either rotating out or has done the work that you really needed it to do, Neferat is going to allow you to not only do that removal, but bring back a card from your discard pile, bring it into play, and it's gonna start rotating right away on the next turn. Really, really nice foil, rare there for those of you who are into foil cards, and really, who isn't. All right, we're gonna crack one more pack here and hopefully get ourselves some more rares that are gonna be useful in my particular faction, Chaos. So, uh, we've got Scorn of Sorcery coming off the top. Lightning Strike, one of my absolute favorite spells. Pretty slow to get going, but does do six damage. And if it's in a warrior wizard space, is gonna deal three more. Cursed Strike, another Gaze of Mork. Once again, Putrid Puke making its appearance. Thank you for stopping by. Paladin Protector, the Uncommon Searing Light. Really, really gorgeous art there. Kind of a quick spell, only three corners, does five damage, but if you play it late game after a champion has completed their quest, gonna ramp that up to nine. Charging Black Knight and Glory of War. 
The rare in this pack, a Grot Ambush. A lot of keywords on this particular uh, ability. Can only be played by a disengaged champion. So you're gonna deploy one Grot unit from your hand or deck onto this champion. So you can go looking for your deck for a unit that you need at that moment. If it's search, shuff shuffle it afterwards and then discard the top card from your deck. So it's gonna cost you a card, but probably into it. There we go, the WAG, not play word, but flavor text card title coming into play again there. Lord Relictor is uh, an uncommon here in this particular pack, a Stormcast. This one actually does come in the order uh, campaign deck, but it is a really, really great card to have a couple of. And the foil here is just a common, but does four damage to your opponent and removes three units on a blessing, so a game-changing blessing there. And those are gonna be that particular pack. I just wanna show you guys once again, these uh, cards have some of my favorite art. If you just wanna take a quick look at the art in this game, it's very, very pretty. The foils really do a nice job of offsetting that art, and just the, the lightning effects, the, the various artists in this game do a really, really great job of evoking a world, but also staying true to that particular faction. They do a really nice job. I'm very happy with the art across the board in this game. Very, very pretty. And on top of that, with a digital app, it's gonna be a really, really solid game. So that was our booster box unboxing. I didn't get a chance to open all the packs, but hopefully it gave you guys a flavor of the game. And if you want to win your very own campaign deck, please do subscribe and comment below with a random commenter who will comment the foil rare, the card name of the foil rare I opened in this video, will be entered to win their very own campaign deck. A couple of packs from this particular booster box, as well as a pack of sleeves and some other goodies from Play Fusion's Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions and Everything Board Games. Once again, my name is Nicholas. Please do subscribe and comment, and we'll see you next time.